Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today we're going to be talking specifically about the new focus modes on iOS. I am going to do a video dedicated to this just because I had so many questions about it in my last video. Um, so first things first, the easiest spot to access everything is right here where the Do Not Disturb toggle used to be. Um, so you can toggle everything on and off right here. And I believe this switches based on whatever it thinks is best for you at the time or the last used um, because it was Do Not Disturb yesterday and now it is personal. Um, so it did change. Um, and then, so these are the modes I have set up right now. Do not disturb driving. Driving is basically um, do not disturb while, while driving came into this. So it's all together now. Um, there's no separate toggle or anything for that. Um, so that has its own list of settings, just like do not disturb while driving did. Um, we have personal, sleep, and work. Um, sleep is one that pairs with the um, health app and everything for your sleep schedule. Um, so you can do that just like you were able to before with your bedtime and your wake up time and the alarms and everything like that. Um, but now you can do your time sensitive notifications. You can allow people to break through and apps to break through and stuff like that um, in your sleep mode. So here's all the modes right here. You can also um, add different modes. You can make a custom one with a custom icon and um, you know custom color and everything like that, custom name. There's also one for fitness, gaming, and reading that are pre-set up. Um, so turn on gaming automatically when you connect a controller, um, stuff like that. So these work differently based on, um, you know, different things like turn on automatically when you're exercising with your Apple watch, um, reading, you can have it, uh, turn on automatically when you open an app to read. So if you open a reading app, um, that one will automatically turn on and stuff like that. Um, so I have that, I have my work one set up to automatically turn on when I get to work. Um, so with geofencing, you'll automatically turn on when I get to work, turn off when I leave work. Um, you have options such as home screen. So if you want to have a custom page, like with all your work related apps on your home screen, you can have those on one page. You can enable this and it will only allow you access to that one page. It'll only show you that one page um, when this focus mode is active. So that's pretty cool. Down here in options, you can have it dim the lock screen, um, delayed delivery, um, delays all, um, notifications to your notification center so it'll have like wall at work or wall uh, I think it says wall at work up on the top of the notification things all the apps that it didn't um, immediately deliver a notification for will all be grouped up there so you can check those out at a later time when it's convenient for you and then you can hide notification badges which I do have on the personal one I have that turned on so you can see nothing has a notification badge here so that's really helpful um, if you do need to use your phone um, you can have that turned on so it doesn't show you the badges. So if you need to use your phone for something, you don't see an icon. Oh, I need to check messages. Oh, I need to check Twitter. Oh, I need to check this. Um, you know, stuff like that. So it's less distracting. You can also do uh, times and you can create more than one time profile. So if you want to have a certain time for like the weekend or a certain day or weekdays, you can do that. You can create more than one of those. So you don't even have to use more than one focus profile you can have you know one for the weekday and one for the weekend all within the one like personal um, profile or work one if you work at a different time um, that one you can really just enable based on location but say um, you know you sleep different times that one works with your uh, schedule for the sleep um, say if you want to do a personal one for like during the day when you're off during the weekend and you're trying to do stuff you can set that up for that time and um, have all that so it's really customizable um, you can have the focus status set to um, you know share with other people that they have focus mode turned on it'll show up on the bottom and it'll tell you when it's delivered quietly um, and then the other person can enable it so you can break through um, and it will still deliver a notification and say that it's time sensitive on the top um, this isn't working right now the auto reply so um, I don't know if that's just not in beta 1 or if I don't have something set up correctly um, but that one is just grayed out right now um, but that would uh, tell people that you have focus mode turned on and receive a reply um, that you have notification silenced. You don't receive a reply right now. Um, it just tells you on the bottom of the screen. And then phone calls. You can allow phone calls from no one, everyone, favorites, um, groups. And then if they call a second time within three minutes, the call will come through. Um, so if somebody needs to get to you and it's important, the call will still um, come through just like it did before with Do Not Disturb. So those are the new focus modes on iOS 15. And these do sync across your devices with Mac OS and iPad OS as well. And you can disable that if you don't want it to, like if you have an iPad or something like that and you always want notifications on there, you can turn it off on there so it doesn't sync. If you turn it on on your iPhone, it won't turn on on your iPad.
I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.